Hello, my awesome, sweet Aries people. Aries, I missed you. Happy Saturday to you. I'm so excited for us. Happy weekend to you, Aries. I hope you are relaxing this weekend. And if you have to work, I hope you find some leisure time for yourself that you are deserving. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see aries wow this is you letting go of things that you feel are causing you a lot of stress. Yeah, this is you recognizing clearly what you need to let go of. Yeah, who's authentic in your life, who's not, what you need to let go of. Oh boy. So as far as your soulmate relationship is concerned, you feel it's really not working out for you like you hoped it would work out for you. So you still feel connected with the soulmate. You feel very connected emotionally, spiritually, but you feel like it's causing you a lot of setbacks, like it's not working out. Mm. You're still attached to this person emotionally. Yeah, you still love this person. Yeah, you. this is you reminiscing of them, thinking of them, thinking of the good times the two of you have had. Yeah, this is you uh, very much attached. Yeah, but there were some serious disagreements in this situation, in this connection. This is you wanting to have better communication with this person. You hoping that this person will communicate with you better, let you know where, where you stand in their life, where this is going, what to expect, how they feel. You want to have great improvement in communication with this person. You don't feel like they are communicating with you. Universe, please show us hmm, what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow, Justice. This is you feeling like you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Yeah. Aries, you are meeting new people. You will be meeting new people through some kind of social gatherings, people that you know from past lifetimes. Through your free will, you will decide whether you want them as acquaintances, friends, more than friends. You're waiting on your soulmate to take action, to prove themselves to you. You're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment that has to do with your job or business, finances. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work, to show this person how much they mean to you. Yeah, you feel drained emotionally. Yeah, you feel exhausted. You feel like you're juggling too many things in your life right now. You feel exhausted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're quiet. You're not communicating with your soulmate right now. You are. If you are communicating, for the few of you that are communicating with your soulmate, you're not really telling them how you truly feel right now. You are. But most of you are not communicating. You are silent, quiet, retreating in solitude, trying to heal. You feel heartbroken, disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, this is you trying to pick yourself up again and move on in some better direction with your life. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. Then we're going to ask about your soulmate universe. Yeah, I see. You don't want to fight, argue. You want clear, honest, direct communication to figure out what they're thinking, feeling, where this is truly going. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries 
currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, if you see like, you feel like you've done everything in your power and for some reason this person you feel didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate. Yeah. You want communication, you want clarity. Yeah, this is back and forth communication. You're quiet, silent, you're not communicating right now, feeling that your person needs to communicate with you. Yeah, this is you meeting new people. You're going to be traveling. You're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere. It's going to be up to you whether you take that opportunity or not, but it will be very beneficial for you. It will be very healing for you to get away, even if it's short distance travel, not for too long if you don't have to. Uh, but it, to me, this looks like long distance travel coming up for you. And it's going to be very good for you. You see somewhere far, um, it's going to be very healing, cleansing for you to travel. And you're going to be meeting new people that you're supposed to meet. You see, new people through some kind of gatherings, social outings. Yeah, beautiful. I'm loving this energy for you. Cleansing energy. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aries. And how is this soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aries. And how is this soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? They're waiting to see what's going to happen. You see, this person is missing you a lot. Mm -hmm. They want communication to happen, you see, but they're not communicating, you see. The sword is pointing down. There's a lot that they want to say, but they've been holding back. Yeah, they want to see you. So this person wants to see you. They want communication to happen. They feel deep passion for you, deep attraction for you. Yeah, very strong attraction to you, Aries. Yeah, universe, please show us. Yeah, this person is very drawn to you. you know, but what concerns me is that I just realized I don't see any cups here. I don't see any emotions being displayed. Let's see. Universe, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? This person doesn't, uh, like, they don't express uh, clearly what they're planning, thinking, feeling. They're very slow to action, but they want to come towards you with some kind of solid offer. This person doesn't want to lose you. Wow. So this person is going through a lot, yeah, that they're dealing with a lot that they need to work on, release in order to offer a healthy relationship to you. They did try to let you go, but they're not able to. Ooh, what happened? They feel a lot of guilt. So they recognize they've made some serious mistakes, errors, or used uh, poor judgment and you let them go as a result they the good thing is that they recognize their mistakes which is a good thing right well we all make mistakes right nobody is mistake free but we have to recognize them in order to learn from them not repeat them so this person sees clearly what the mistakes were in this connection and they feel bad about it they feel regretful wow they want to fix the situation this person wants to fix things Universe, please show us. But they scared that it may be too late, that you already made up your mind and let them go for good. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. You see, they worry. Once again, no cups showing up here. Not even one card with cups, with feelings. I don't know. That concerns me. They are concerned because you, they view a single, available, attractive, independent person. They worry that if they wait too long, you're going to be approached by somebody else because they view as the catch in a relationship, as someone of great value. They worry you're not going to be single for too long, that you're going to uh, have a relationship with somebody else. Somebody else is going to offer you a relationship, you see? This person has... Um, so they're not so much scared of commitment as they are scared of failing in a commitment. Um, this person has still emotional baggage from some kind of failed past relationship that they need to forgive, release, heal from, because it's 
directly affecting the connection with you all. Once again, no cups still. Finally, finally cups card. Two of cups, but the way it's painted, <clears throat> the cups are empty. No love is being expressed. And you see, nine of swords, very challenging card. This person <clears throat> regrets not being able to show you how much you mean to them, how much they love you. It's like they don't communicate with you. They don't tell you what you should expect, where this is going, how they feel about you. Yeah, even though they love you. You see, they want this communication to happen so badly. <clears throat> wow. In the extended reading, we're going to ask about this person and new soulmates that are approaching you, entering your life. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aries. They feel like they need to make amends with you, apologize to you, explain things to you. Yeah, this is them waiting to see if you're going to pull off, reach out to them, if they need to reach out to you. You see, this is them preparing themselves for this communication, trying to be brave, courageous enough to approach you. Here's the Ace of Wands and here's the Ace of Wands that they're holding. This person has very deep passion for you, strong attraction. Yeah, you see, they do recognize that this was very unbalanced connection, that you paid more attention, put more work into this connection than they were able to put in. You see this? Their pentacle is so tiny compared to your pentacle and you finally felt unbalanced, unappreciated, and you let it go. Um, <clears throat> Aries, we're going into your extended reading. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.